Hello. I hope the wind is not too much. I just want to say before I even get started that um, I am not a professional and I'm doing the best that I can. We are going to call ourselves the Phoenix Ramblers because this is our uh, 1970 Holiday Rambler um, and we named her the Phoenix because we brought her back from death. Yes, she was ready for the scrapyard. Uh, we redid everything, took this down to the skin. It took us two years to finish her. Uh, we just finished like in October and I know she needs a bath really bad. It makes me sad. Um, we uh, redid all the windows. We use um, some stuff, I think it's called diamond white to do the trim and everything. Uh, we have put in an, ex, an exhaust fan in the kitchen. We have our cable TV there with an antenna there. Uh, we have our favorite place on the side, which is the Grand Tetons. We have cable and um, internet here. Okay. And uh, we have a saying on the side here that says, All those who wonder are not lost. And all my little black streaks. Ugh. Uh, we have brand new tires, of course. And we redid all of our hubcaps and got vinyl uh, HR stickers to go on there. A uh, friend of... Um, hmm. We had these made, um, and I used a, a clear coat on them, not knowing that it would make them look like they were original, but we like that. Let's see here. We have our water intake here with our filter, and the water, fresh water going in here. My husband made these little little signs here it says uh, water pressure system operates at 80 pounds max blow all lines clear to prevent freezing we have an exterior shower love that of course there's our sewer running out to the um, running out to the um, our little dump tank uh, we have the power here set up right there. He has it on a hook because we hate it sitting on the ground. And it goes right over here. We got a um, heavy duty um, shore power hook up here. Uh, original tail light. Not original lights, unfortunately. These are original, but these are not. We tried. And we have another saying here that says, as the legend goes, when the phoenix resurrects from the flame, she is even more beautiful than before. And we are working on our little back hatch here. Um, we have a battery for our 12 volt. as a little meter there. Look at there, we're at full charge. We have some uh, electrical outlets back here. Pressure washer set. Yeah, he already did that one. That was the original one. I see. Got a light back here. Got some hooks to hold our cleaning thing. Of course, we got our strap for our awning. It's too windy today to have our awning out. Um, of course, we got little vents there. We have um, our levelers here. These are great. And we have our domatic awning. Um, she is going up through there. We have our chairs and our and our cooler full of beer, you know. Um, oh, and here, here we have. Let's see here. Um, this is our exterior, an outlet here, and uh, cable TV here, so that when we go into a park depending on where they have it oh, I can't get the thing up but you got the point All right, let me put this back and you know what this is right 
this our son has a camper also and that is a cover from his screen door the other section broke so he went and got a new one <laughs> Uh, we have tailor-made steps. We wanted something that was not going to fall apart. And it seems like every time we got something, it was falling apart. Uh, this is the original door. Uh, I just used that diamond white and cleaned the, the chrome on it, the aluminum. And let's see, we have the original emblem there. Uh, let's go in original screen door we're still looking for um, handles and the hardware for it okay here we go we're going inside we lay tile flooring it's called ceramica that you can uh, grout and I love that let's see we have a fireplace and all of our electronics big widescreen TV uh, let's see the kitchen we have a four four burner stove um, oven it has a little storage underneath there's the um, exhaust fan microwave um, we we the, did everything ourselves did, built the kitchen the cabinets everything everything we did I laid the tile uh, I made the curtains um, let's see, the countertops, we used, um, uh, it was called Bar Glaze, and we poured, you poured on there, it's like, it's like putting 80 layers of, um, uh, polyurethane on it. It's fantastic. We love fresh fruit, too, and vegetables. Um, let's see, I made the curtains, and, um, let's see, I don't know if you can see... This is the living room. Living room there. Hmm, that's terrible. Let's see. There we go. Can you see better? That's the sun. Okay, we have little ottomans. We have a sofa there. Um, I have a spice rack with a garbage can there with a foot control. I love that. I have a deep sink. I had to special order this deep sink. It is 8 inches deep, but it's only 19. It's 19 this this way and 33 this way. Uh, I love my retro coffee pot. Uh, we have some collectibles up there. Places we've been. Rio de Janeiro, um, New York, Wyoming. His dad uh, passed away and they had a military service for him. He got that. A little boy carved that for him in Pakistan when he was in the Navy. My son was stationed in Korea. So there is a piece of the fence. And um, there is a tea set that he brought me back. Uh, our daughter went to London. And she, yeah, our family is a traveling family. <laughs> Uh, let's see here lamps and stuff like that. We tried to recycle as much as possible uh, I've probably had these lamps for 20 years. I just put a new coat of paint and new shade on it and voila uh, We built in storage back here. This is the storage here has extra uh, medicines and Q-tips and bath wash and all that kind of stuff. There's another one there um, the bed actually lays out into, a, I mean, the sofa lays out into a bed. Uh, let's see. On my curtains, I did blackout on the back of them so that, uh, it would help with the heat and the cold. Uh, of course, we have, uh, you know, hanging, you know, this is place for our hats. And I'm, I'm... I love photography, so I took this photo, the same one that's mounted on the outside. Uh, beadboard is run right there on that curve. I don't know if you can tell. There you go. And this is one of the ACs. Uh, we also put in LED lamps everywhere. Um, 12 volts 
here and under the sink and of course we've got uh, these little pot lights everywhere uh, battery operated but you know what I mean hey you can uh, use those if you have no power or anything um, I love collecting cookie jars so I have a few that I kept out of my collection and the rest of them I sold uh, and everybody has a junk drawer well we have a junk basket and that's it let's see refrigerator love my refrigerator we have we went and bought those um, the baby locks they work fantastic so we lock the top from the uh, lock the freezer from the top and lock this one uh, from from the side right here works fantastic let's see uh, these you can get at Lowe's or wherever they're great for spices that you use all the time and in the refrigerator people are always talking about their eggs moving and falling out and this that and the other well I leave my food in here when we travel I have this uh, this liner here you can get this at Lowe's it's heavy-duty and it keeps everything from moving nothing moves it is great of course I also have these bins where if I'm making sandwiches or whatever I just take the whole thing out this one has cheese in it and wraps so and of course you know we have that um, vegetables in the bottom there um, let's see oh under the kitchen sink we have the hot water heater and the ice maker of course we also have the plates in the front nice for storage and my knives are there um, let's see what else uh, we got a wine rack over here and my wine glasses there um, of course coffee cups and I use this pressure cooker every other day or so all right let's go through the hallway uh, this door here is to the bathroom back there is our bedroom we have a washer and dryer there's the dryer um, this is the pantry you can see it better from this side let's see there's the washer and dryer we have a huge dehumidifier works fantastic um, coats and jackets and the crest of our family there uh, washer and dryer uh, don't forget people you have to have a fire alarm and a C uh, was it CO2 CO something anyway we have one it actually talks to you uh, we have um, these are what we eat on these are great and of course I have them hung here so they're not obstructing the, the walkway and there's another one uh, there and the doggy dish of course and we've got a mop and a broom there uh, let's see and don't forget use all your available storage we have storage there above the washer I mean above the dryer let's see here the bathroom the bathroom we have storage behind the toilet and there's the hamper I even put a little rack under here it holds my, my curling irons and all my hair stuff uh, of course there's the toilet paper and I have <laughs> I have the soap dispenser uh, velcroed to the wall because the sink is small and so there wasn't a place to put it of course toothpaste holder toothbrushes clock the mirror and the shower Okay, and our little garbage can there, and towel rack. Okay, and we have a house exhaust fan in our bathroom. I love it. Okay, in our bedroom we have a second AC because my sister may be staying with us some, so I wanted her to have an AC up there also. And yes, we are only 30 amp however we have had both these ACs on they're only 12 and a half volts each so if you're not running anything else at night it's it's fine it works great 
uh, of course here's our bedroom um, we did storage bins up top with baskets for our clothing and another lamp that I re I have redone um, we have a big widescreen TV here because we like to lay in the bed and watch TV and our laptop on top of the desk the desk will fold back you can see these little things here um, and we have an office chair there uh, let's see here we did the rounded in the back there too with a little shelf and let me tell you what people but if if you don't if you have so many photos that you just can't put everything up on the wall that you want to these things are fabulous I have all of my family photos and trips and everything there uh, there's my 70s lamp that my daughter gave me love it and uh, these little vent covers for the vents they are fantastic uh, they have this little uh, aluminum stuff in here that helps with installation they are great and they're decorative I love them let's see our power panel is behind that photo there uh, we have an extra stool there my purse is hanging there blankets and a photo box my photo box I have photos that I need to scan <laughs> I want to get everything digital so I don't have to worry about any of that let's see and I know a lot of people are like well what do you do when you travel all this stuff is laying out well those I wrap in a blanket and put them under the bed because there's storage under the bed uh, uh, the the stool stays right where it is the best the blankets over there stay where they are I take that box put it on the bed I take my um, yes this is a jewelry box my husband made me uh, I take that and put it on the bed I take the boat and put it between the pillows um, we have walkie talkies we use our walkie talkies when we're he has one in the truck and I have one with the camper so that we can talk back and forth when we're moving works great let's see of course we have books like everybody else and that's for our shoes because I hate having dirt and stuff on the floor um let me see all of that office stuff is going to go away as soon as we can actually start traveling he is still working but not for long yay um let's see behind here everybody has a little bit of mess right i have a mirror behind the door hello and my printer but i have a bunch of stuff right there that i need to take care of also let's see um my floor this is my $30 floor I got I got two boxes at a thrift store for 30 bucks yeah I was proud of myself it's great okay um, let's see here anything else I need to tell you if you're gonna get a dehumidifier our camper is 37 foot please get a large one the large one will take care of everything you won't have sweating walls or sweating windows and this is an old camper and when we first uh, moved in it was like I had to use three or four wow towels to dry it up I didn't like it at all um, so now we are all we're all moved in and um, we would like we want our YouTube channel to we want you guys to follow us on our YouTube channel follow us in our our adventures our endeavors and trial and error um, showing you how things work and this that and the other and things that will help you um, redo your camper because I have some videos because after this video I'm going to post this video today but after this video I'm going to go backwards a little bit because we have um, we have some videos that we took of um, things that we did how we built the cabinets how we um, how we did all kinds of stuff so how we I mean we took this down to the skin we had to 
it was horrible it was a mess um, everything was disgusting it was rotten it was gross it had bugs and spiders and ants and rats and you name it it was in it the people were gonna send it to they were gonna take it to the scrapyard and I bought it for four hundred dollars so and we brought her back to life of course it took us two long grueling years um, but you know what we love it we live in it full time we have to still sell our house of course if we, in this economy I don't know if that's gonna work but um, we we are very happy we are glad we did this and because of the way the economy is um, that's why we live in here we decided that we didn't want anything anymore and um, we at one time we had five houses at once and so uh, we're done we're done we just want to be done get rid of everything and be done and go live free 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 people free so um, good luck to you guys and safe travels uh, please continue please please subscribe to my channel I will be posting videos at least every other day thank you and have a blessed day